We are covering the hours until Election Day from every angle. Tonight, Madison Chilego brings us the story of one Virginian who says they were incorrectly removed from the state's voter rolls. And Alex Little Hales has more on the record early voter turnout in North Carolina. So, Madison, let's start with you. Yeah, and you heard from one of the 200 people in Hampton Roads who were impacted or removed from voter rolls because of citizenship que questions. So, what did they tell you exactly? Yeah, the woman that I spoke with this afternoon shared her story of how she became one of those purge voters and in her response, her journey to get back onto the voter rolls. Caroline Arthur calls Hampton home. She's one of the more than 1,600 Virginians removed from the voter rolls following a U.S. Supreme Court decision earlier this week. Why did my name get pulled? Like, what... Like, what was the flagging criteria? You know, like, why did I get picked? The state said that the aim was to stop suspected non-citizens from voting. But Arthur says that she's lived in the U.S. since 1999, been a citizen since 2018, and voted in past elections. So Arthur says she was confused when the Hampton Registrar said citizenship was the reason she was removed from voting. She had told me that around, like, July-ish, um, someone had went to the DMV, or I had went to the DMV and I had filled out some paperwork and checked that I wasn't a citizen. But I haven't done any DMV or been to the DMV or anything. Arthur said that voting removal letter followed another letter in the mail just a few months ago, asking her to update her voter registration or be removed. Arthur said she ignored it, thinking that it was a scam, but it wasn't. A few weeks after that, Arthur received an even more urgent letter stating that she was removed from the voter rolls. The letter basically said, hey, um, we need you to confirm your citizenship, um, fill out this form, send it back to us. If you don't, you'll get removed from the voter registration list. And honestly, by the time I had seen the letter, the deadline had passed. So I was like, ah, it's probably fake anyways, like whatever. I didn't really think about it. Caroline Arthur tells us that since she has re-registered to vote in Hampton and she cast her vote yesterday, organizations like the League of Women Voters of Virginia are helping impacted Virginians who are eligible to re-register as well. Madison Schlegel, 13 News Now. Okay.